how the heck do you get many chat to capture emails and send them to Kajabi? Well, I spent a bunch of time researching this. There wasn't any videos on this particular topic. So I'm going to show you exactly how I just figured that out. Hopefully it saves you a bunch of time. If you want a free trial to Kajabi, I'm guessing if you're watching this, then you already have Kajabi. But if you do want a free trial, you can go to angebourgeois.com slash Kajabi. So in order to get emails from ManyChat, which the way that you're using this is from Instagram, you're getting emails using ManyChat and, and automation. Now we need to take that and put it into Kajabi because if you just capture the email, it's not going to actually send it to your email service, right? So you, you have to connect it. But ManyChat doesn't have a direct integration with Kajabi. They do with ConvertKit and maybe MailChimp too, I think. But so we're going to use Zapier. And as I was doing this, I was running into a bunch of problems trying to figure out how it worked, but I figured it out. So I'm going to show you. Okay. So first, let me show you ManyChat. This is my actual, you know, flow. So for my business, Catching Made Simple, I have them comment move or plan. And then I have them send this message. Hey, you're interested in info on the complete catcher protocol. If they say yes, then it sends them here. I say, great, enter your email below. And then it waits for the email. Now, the way that you set this up, I might have to make another video on exactly how I did this. But basically, I think that you just create this. You know what? Let me see if I can just do, if I do a plus. I want to think, I want to say you go messenger, add text, and then you would do data collection. That's right. And so then you would want email. That's how you would do it. Okay. So that's how you get to this little section. I'm just going to delete that. So action on reply thing that's going to allow us to actually do everything. But let, let me, let me just go back one second. So after we get this, the next step is to actually give them the info. If they don't respond, I have it wait 24 hours or 23 hours and then say, Hey, were you still interested in this? Yes. If so, then do this. So then I'll actually build this one. You can see exactly how I did it. But basically we need to connect Zapier to ManyChat and then set a user field email to email. Okay. This was a little confusing for me, but I'll walk you through it right here. So now action on reply, I'm going to do actions, perform action. You can see Zapier right here. If you don't see this, then you need to go get Zapier and connect it. All right. So then you trigger this. I had to create an event. I titled it move email. Then I'm going to add one more and it's going to be add user field. And so then uh, basically what I did was I typed in email and then the value of that is email. So you click on these brackets and then click email. Okay. And so then, you know, I'm going to actually just click on this, duplicate this so that we can now finish this out. So now you can see this is about the same. Once we get the email, the reply is it triggers the move zap, and then it sets the user field email to email of whatever they typed in. Okay, so now we go into Zapier and you're going to see this is what the Zap actually looks like for me, where basically it's a very simple automation, new trigger a Zap event. So set up, I connect it to ManyChat, connect it to the a trigger a Zap event, make sure that it has the correct account. Then I go to configure and the event is the move email and then we test it then you just want to make sure that it works right. So I would go run the automation yourself using a different account, make sure that it works. And then you should be able to, to see the test data. It wasn't working for me before, but then once I added that trigger, then it worked. Then I go here into Kajabi. Then the app is going to be Kajabi. I want to create a form submission and then under configure, um, I want to have the name, first name, last name, and email, right? So that's what that looks like. Now, on the inside of Kajabi, you have to have the form set up. So I called this CMS IG Move so that I knew catching CMS stands for catching made simple. IG stands for Instagram. Move is the is the keyword automation that they are submitting. I have name and email, and then I have an automation that says when this is submitted subscribe them to this email sequence. Okay. So here's what that looks like immediately upon submission. I send them the email 
And then upon here, I send one more email the next day in the morning and basically hit one more reminder to go to the landing page because this, this particular automation, I'm sending them to my landing page for coaching, right? So now I have these two things set up, but I don't just want to stop. So basically what I'm also doing is upon completion, you can see I have a bunch of different email sequence subscribes, all this kind of stuff. I have this all mapped out of what I want this customer's journey to look like. And so you can see when email sequence is completed, I want them to go into the super simple guide. I also have a welcome sequence that I have them do. Hopefully this answers your question on how do you use ManyChat to get leads into, Kaj into Kajabi? Well, you need to use Zapier if you want a free trial within this, then go to angebrichwa.com slash Kajabi. And the other thing that I would say, here's you know another little graphic that I used with one of the other guys that I was coaching just to basically explain. So I have them have a keyword that comes here on Instagram that fills out this form. I have an email sequence to get them to fill out the application form on my actual website. And then once they do that, I have another sequence to get them to go to my calendar link, which I use on Calendly. And then from there, I have another email sequence that I send from Calendly to make sure that they show up for the call. And then there are basically unenroll buttons on each of these. So if I if if they fill out this form, they're going to go into this sequence. But if they fill out this one, it stops this one and enrolls them in this one. And same thing when they fill out the calendar link, then it's going to it's going to fill out the another form that i have in kajabi and it's going to stop this sequence because now they've moved to the next stage and so that's essentially what it looks like if you guys have any questions then let me know but ultimately the goal is to be able to get people into your system get them educated get them nurtured one of the best ways to do that right now is through using a tool called ManyChat because you can immediately increase your leads like crazy. Let me just show you. Uh, I made a post right here and uh, this has 211 comments. So basically you can cut that in half. And now I have essentially, I think I lost my camera, but now essentially I just got a hundred leads to give me their information using ManyChat. Now I'm putting them into Kajabi and hopefully booking calls and then actually solving their problems. So that's what I got. Hopefully this helps.